Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. People living in an apartment complex in Jefferson County woke up to the building on fire. That fire damaged six units, and now people living there need a place to stay just days before Christmas. Nine people were treated for smoke inhalation. Two people, including a firefighter, were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The sheriff's office arrested a man for starting that blaze. He's now facing arson and first-degree attempted murder charges. Well, he's accused of breaking into two homes this morning, and tonight Arvada police are hoping you can help bring him to justice. Police say the break-ins happened just before 10 o'clock this morning on 81st Place near 82nd in Sims. Part of his face is covered, but if you have any information, you're being asked to call your local police. Well, the Denver Broncos are back home tomorrow to host the Detroit Lions. It's the first time the Lions have played in the Mile High City in nearly a decade. Both teams are looking for a win. The Broncos struggled against the Chiefs last week in Kansas City. The Lions have lost seven in a row. Kickoff from Empower Field at Mile High is 2.05 tomorrow. We'll have live post-game coverage starting on Denver 7 News at 5. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a check on your forecast. Look at this, partly cloudy and 64 degrees tomorrow. Chance for snow, though, on Tuesday with a high of 49. Christmas, a nice day, mostly sunny with a high of 47. And they're back to more seasonal temp temperatures, but still pretty nice. Sunny with a high of 42 on Saturday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thanks for joining us. And check back here later tonight for another update. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.